Hello, Brad Fiesta here. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. We're fighting the sorceress. Let's go. The adventure continues. But where? Stop speaking. This is the music you're going to use for the sorceress battle? Okay. Okay. Um. All right. I'm not really sure what the uh Are we able to flame attack her? Like, what is the... Oh, there's a sheep. What is... Oh, there's a ghost platform here now? Ghost cannon? Okay. Honestly, I'm kind of just tripped out by the music. Okay, I see... You know, what's probably happening, Agent 9 is probably shooting down those uh, balloons. So we just have to wait for him to do that. And then we get a moment of reprieve. Okay, there's one on the far end here. Take this one. That'll do. All right, what are you gonna do? Okay, that was kind of bogus, but all right, the cannons disappeared. Thank you. Alright, it's a cool green for that attack she uses. Alright, new cannon. What is this? A hovercraft of some sort? Okay, that sucked. Oh, there's another one. Oh, come on, we're the champion at hovercraft, uh, whatevering. Wish we could get super flame. Nope. Alright. Wow, we missed every single one, huh? Whatever. Just take every little hit we can get. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. I've jumped off it. What? That was not fair. Right, there's one. Okay, can we please stand on the thing?
Alright, that's what I've been waiting for. Okay, what would be cool is like a new phase to this battle. There's a... Oh, that's just Agent 9. Oh, okay, this is different. Okay, cool. Great. That's super easy to steer. What? <sighs> Lingering. Some of the sheep managed to avoid all that. This thing is really difficult to steer. Okay. Well, at least we can stay on it, I guess. Okay. This is fine. Doesn't seem like we can crash either, so... Alright, we have to be kind of direct hit on her, huh? Can't get too close. Okay. Can we hit any of these things out of the air? No. Right. Good hit. Great hit. <laughs> this seems like probably the correct strategy. Because you can't really hit us with a super flame because we're moving around enough. Oh, that would have been good. Video games! <laughs> oh, that'll, that'll do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, a sheep. All right, hovercraft please. Thank you. How did that not hit? Oh, it was an extra life. Really powerful spell. Unbelievable. Hey, we got it. Bye. Hello, Egg. Hello, George. Oh, you can fly. Wow, very cool backflips. And there we go. <gasps> she lives. Deja vu. What about this nasty Ganork fellow? You just defeated the sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon world. What do you plan to do next? Hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores? Hmm? <laughs> You're a real
real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> oh, it's Bentley. Ugh. <laughs> You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Why was our final cutscene with Bentley? Okay, this is better, though, because I see... It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. By a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you going to visit me in Avalar? Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs and... Well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, uh, -huh. uh Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoc boy? Eat laser punk? Come on now, no fair hiding. If I'm sure That's how I feel about Agent Nine, too. Good hands. <laughs> I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? You should have just gone with her. Come on, man. Oh, I guess this is our full like epilogue. So it wasn't just Bentley. We got to see Agent Nine. Now how many times have I told you not to tease that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh yeah yeah. <laughs> is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Hey. <laughs> Come on now, Spyro. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> One less noble war. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Yeah, fall to love, Spyro. Have some actually, like, good in your life. Some of us don't get that chance. Okay, well, credit scene. Familiar credit music. You got a good thing going for you, Spyro with Alora. Like, just let it. She came back to a game she's not even in for you. Like, recognize when good things are in your life. One of us has to. So that was Spyro 3. I would have enjoyed it more if I wasn't recording, I think. Just as a general sort of where I am at in my life uh, comment. Oh, that was pretty poor camera work. Went right through the wall. Come on, Craig. Come on, Chuck. Not saying that, well, they didn't put any, like, job titles with any of these people. They just are generalists for Insomniac games. Cerny games, also. This'll be a nice uh, tour through some of the levels that we don't remember. Oh, I know where this goes. This goes to Bentley's area. Don't go in here. Oh, this was the um, the swamp level. Or, not necessarily a swamp, but it was full of piranhas. No, this was the, um, this was the Sheila part. 
where she had to guide the um the bomb trolls. Yeah. I wasn't looking at the character voices. Not that I'm going to recognize anybody other than Tom Kenny, but... Flo D. Ray. You can put Laura on there. Probably under additional character voices. Victoria Hoffman is probably a Laura. Or maybe Carolyn Lawrence. Could just pull up my, I guess, <laughs> video from Spyro 2 and look it up. But where's the fun in that? Daisy Torme. This was, this is a fireworks factory. This is where we were fighting the dragons. Uh, here's the desert ruins. Or, if that's what it was called. I feel like, of the trilogy, Spyro 2 is the best. I mean, that might be biased just because I played Spyro 2 the least. Um, but from this little short stint of uh, playing the fourth world of Spyro 3 and then from what I remember from earlier this year, um, it just felt like the, I don't know, the level designs were all kind of the same. They're all just big loops. Not to say that Spyro 2 didn't also do that. But, I don't know, there just feels like the level I always go back to for Spyro 2 is Zephyr. Um, Zephyr is just such a unique world. And no, Spyro 2 levels weren't necessarily big loops all the time. Um, it was just get to the end. And they weren't always... Well, maybe some of them were just real long and linear. This is a, this was the beanstalk part. I don't remember what level this was from, but it was the magic beans. Here's the ancient tomb. Kaz Hidai, I remember, was on the last one too. But what I think I will be able to enjoy now, this is the cloud spires. Weird that they put this one near the end of the credit roll. No, I saying was what I think I will be able to do now, now that I've finished the trilogy, is I'll be able to enjoy the games more because I'll just be able to play them without any like pretense. I have enjoyed the Spiral Trilogy, thank you. This is the, um, we had great fun, sleepless years creating it. You can find us at insomniacgames.com. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm grateful, because these were very uh, important games in my childhood. I enjoyed them quite a lot, still do today. All right. Well, we have some unfinished business that we will take care of in the next episode. So I have been Brad Fiesta. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.